Uh, joining us by phone is the mayor of Poway, California, Steve Voss. Steve, I'm, I'm just saying what we know right now. And, and one of the things, if you were able to hear one of the witnesses on the ground there that was being interviewed by our affiliate, it seemed that she may have been indicating that she had either seen or had heard uh, that the rabbi may or may not have been injured as well as a, a, a woman, and, and, and she believed that that was the situation. What do you know in terms of the details there? Best I can tell you at this point uh, is that we had uh, four folks with gunshot wounds. Uh, we do have one fatality. Uh, the rabbi was shot in the hand. Uh, my understanding is uh, none of the other injuries are life-threatening. Uh, we are grateful to those in the congregation there that engaged the shooter and prevented this from being a much more horrific uh, incident. And I need to tell you that yes. the city of Poway is 50,000 folks, and all of the faith communities here are like family. Uh, just a week ago, uh, we had a uh, interfaith gathering uh, to find common ground. So for this to happen... Only a week later, at the end of Passover, only a week after Easter, is horrific and not at all indicative of the love and appreciation uh, for different faith traditions we have in this community. And you are that gathering voice there in Poway, Mayor, uh, as their leader, and it sounds certainly that you've taken on that uh, on the lead up to today, not only in the faith community, but most probably there in the city itself. Can you, can you give us a little bit more detail? Because what is new for us um, is that there's a fatality. We had not heard about that. Uh, what can you tell us about that, that particular individual? I can only tell you that we have a fatality. I can also tell you that it was a hate crime, and that will not stand. This community will come together, will put their arms around each other, and we will be there for the families affected and be there in an ongoing fashion, just like we always are. So when we're listening to, to the witness, um, as, as you move forward on this very hour, and I know you have a lot of uh, information coming into your office at the moment, Rabbi, excuse me, Mayor, uh, the, the rabbi that you said was shot in the hand, uh, the witness was saying that he continued to speak to, to, to all of the other individuals that are inside Chabad of Poway, even though he may have been injured? That's my understanding. And I know the rabbi well. I was with him just a few weeks ago. Uh, this is a man of great faith and a man of great courage, and uh, I'm, I'm so proud that he's part of our Poway community. I'd imagine, as you were saying earlier, Mayor, uh, with a town of 50,000 and being so close, that you may and most likely know some of these individuals that are involved, uh, unfortunately, that were, that were injured and potentially even the fatality. I think there's some high likelihood for that. Uh, but, it, you know, Poway in many ways is kind of like a, a Norman Rockwell town where, you know, we call ourselves a city in the country. And uh, that applies in every possible fashion. Uh, and we will be there for one another uh, as long as it takes. And our, uh, it sounds so trite after so many tragedies in so many places, but our thoughts and prayers will continue to be with that congregation with those who were injured, with the families, yeah. uh, the individual that, uh, whose life was lost, uh, will be there for them. Mayor, um, you did a hat tip there to some of the heroes that stopped uh, the person with the gun, the suspect here. Can you tell us a little bit more about how that happened or who those folks might be? No, there will be. I'm at the command center now, and there will be a briefing uh, coming up in, in the not-too-distant future. And I want to give a shout-out to all of the law enforcement agencies who have stepped up in this. Uh, I've heard multiple times uh, from the mayor of San Diego, which is right next door to the city of Poway, offering their full resources. Mm -hmm. uh, and, uh, you know, this community comes together. Now, now, you're talking about the brave law enforcement there at Poway. How, how did they react uh, as you were speaking uh, there with your chief as, as well as uh, surrounding communities? They turn out, and they turn out quickly. Uh, Poway uh, is proud of its reputation as the safest city in San Diego County, one of the safest cities in the state of California. Uh, and something like this will not sit well. But we have uh, deputy sheriffs and police departments surrounding us that will step things up. We've already dispatched right. uh, teams to all of the uh, 
faith community uh, houses of worship uh, to make sure that uh, no senseless copycat uh, takes place. Uh, we're going to be there for everybody. Uh, Mayor, which uh, law enforcement agencies helped you in reaction to this shooting? We had our sheriff's department on scene within minutes. San Diego PD was on scene shortly thereafter. We've had highway patrol here at the command center. We see uh, federal law enforcement agencies, we see the ATF. Uh, law enforcement uh, works very well together in tragedies like this, and they yeah. train for that, and uh, we appreciate it. Hey, would, can you put a, a general number around the number of units or personnel that arrived? Well, I can tell you I'm at the command center now, and there's over 100 law enforcement vehicles here in the parking lot. The scene is secure, uh, and uh, now they're beginning to uh, plan next steps. The weapon itself, uh, any information about that? <laughs> Was it a, no, a handgun or a automatic No rock? information. No, no semi? Okay. So um, it, you said you plan on, and I understand there's a lot of information coming in, Mayor. Uh, when do you expect that you might be able to have a briefing? I would expect uh, a briefing in the next uh, 90 minutes or so, but that's only a guess on my part. In about 90 minutes is when you will have th the next briefing. You are very specific. You, you, you've categorized this as a hate crime. You may have heard we were speaking with Jonathan Greenblatt, who's the CEO of the Anti-Defamation League. He was saying that they are working both locally and nationally to find to, to, to assist in this situation there in Poway, as well as, as well as defensive measures at this location. What sort of defensive measures were in place, if any? I'm, I'm not in a position to address that. I understand. I understand. Uh, I can't thank you enough, uh, Mayor. Uh, Steve Voss there of Poway for, for taking the time to speak with us. And I know you've got a lot to do with the command center, uh, with all the personnel there. We'll stop in with you later if we, if we can, if that's okay with you. Thank you, sir. All right. Thank you, Mayor.